so let's do some fireball mail up the neck. I had some requests for this. So we'll go over this line by line, lick by lick, phrase by phrase. <clears throat> and just like, um, just like the low part, there's a lot of forward rolls in this, like a five, two, one, or a five, three, one. And it also makes extensive use of what I call the Cumberland Gap Triangle. Now you'll notice I'm up the neck here. Uh, the fifth, uh, you can see the fifth peg here, fifth string peg. So I'm uh, going from seven, seven to nine. And that, that's where my triangle is, is between seven, seven is the uh, dot and the marker here, and 10 is the marker here. So I'm uh, eight, eight and nine. my uh, three frets and third string second string first string and that my second fingers on the third string my index is on the second string and my ring fingers on the first string, like so you'll remember from my Cumberland Gap up the neck video I've, uh, I'm in my triangle here and I've, I'm extending my little finger out to the 11th fret. I'll be doing a lot of that in this uh, video. So uh, if you need to go back and work your Cumberland Gap, I would go back and work that till it's nice and clear till you can get control over your pinky and get that um, where you can play this uh, B flat here and this B natural here. That's the second string and the first string. And that's my little finger here and my ring finger there on the first string. And uh, that's with no pinky. Like that. Okay, so that's, that's kind of a prerequisite for going through all this because we're you've been through the foggy mountain breakdown up the neck uh, videos you'll you will have encountered this lick too so let's go on let's uh, get started here um, I'm on the seventh fret here with my first finger on the third string and then I'm on the ninth fret on the third string with my second finger and then my index finger comes in here and then I complete the triangle with my ring finger so I'm going seven nine eight and then forward roll, forward roll. Five, two, one, five, two, one. So third string, third string, second string. Five, two, one, five, two, one. Okay, that's how we start with uh, my, my little intro notes, a couple of forward rolls. And my next lick is gonna be gonna use my pinky extended out here. Five one five two one five two one. So it's a five one where I'm at, and then my pinky is out here for a five two one, and then I take it off for another five two one. So five one forward roll forward roll. Okay, so so far I'm at seven and nine triangle. Pinky out. Okay, now I'm going to go backwards, back to nine and seven. This is index finger again. Now I'm leaving my ring finger where it is because I'm going, to, I'm going to need that note. So I'm going to third string, third string. Notice I'm getting out of my triangle here and coming back into it there. So I go backwards from nine to seven. And uh, back to nine and back to eight and then a pinch now I'm back to seven and nine on the third string again and back to my uh, back in my triangle again second string five two one five two one so so far coming into our break here we got seven nine triangle Pinky, take it off, 
back it up and come back to Now I'm going to move up here to the 12th fret on the first string. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and put both of these fingers on, even though I don't play the second string for a couple of notes. I'll do the fifth string, two first strings. <clears throat> so I just moved my ring finger up three frets up to the 12th fret. And I put my second finger down on the, the second string, same fret, 12th fret. So the beginning of that line is the fifth string. Five, one, one, two, one. Okay? So, fifth string. Okay, going on. Five, two, one, one, four. Putting my pinky down here on 14. <clears throat> leaving these two where they're at because what I'm going to do is I'm going to scoot on up here to 17 with my pinky. So my pinky is going up three frets and my second finger is going to kind of follow along and end up on the fifth, 15th fret. So I'm going, um, I'm, I'm, I'm at 12 and 14 here. I'm at 15 and 17 here, both with the second finger and fourth finger. So, uh, beginning of uh, the 12th fret sequence again will be 5, 1, 1, 2, 1. Okay, now I'm putting this, leaving this finger, it's going alongside my pinky here because I'm, yeah, I'm going to do another couple of four rows. 15 and 17 are my two frets here. 5, 2, 1, 5, 2, 1. Okay. And then I move back here to 12th fret again. Like so. And this is third finger on the first string, 12th fret. And then 14th fret. And then 12th fret. Okay. Now, we'll get into a little more familiar territory here. If, if you've done the Foggy Mountain Breakdown up the neck, uh, part one. We've done that lick before. Uh, that starts off the uh, Foggy Mountain Breakdown up the neck, uh, part one. While I'm, I'm on the 10th fret here, with my second uh, finger on the second string, I'm doing the Foggy Mountain Roll, two, one, two, one, five, two, one, five. Index, middle, thumb, middle. I'm doing, giving it a good little stretch here. Okay, so we should be pretty familiar with that lick by now. Now I'm gonna move my index finger back to eight, second string, and do my triangle again. This time I have two forward rolls, five, two, one, five, three, one. Now I'm gonna drop back to the second string again. I'm gonna use my thumb on this one and thumb again here. And again, my pinky's out here on the 11th fret. Now, um, you also will remember this next position from uh, the Foggy Mountain Breakdown Up the Neck Part 1 video where I'm doing a D shape up here. This is 11th fret, 10th fret, 12th fret. And second finger, first finger, third finger. I do a forward reverse roll, or most of one. Three, two, one, five, one, two, three. And then I end it with uh, Another lick from that same Foggy Mountain Breakdown up the neck video. That's the G lick that I call G lick number one. Two, one, five, two, one, five, three, one, two, pinch. And I started with my thumb here. And ended with my thumb here and a pinch. 
like so. <clears throat> and now two, one, five, two, one is my pinkies out here on 11 again. And I'm going across the third string here and back to the second string. Okay, and that's, that's the whole thing. Now where I go from here, I can... Uh, back to I know you can't see here I go back to my um, uh, low part of firewall mail from there so I'm going back to the open fourth string and second fret and go on from there with the low part of the song or you know give it back to the fiddle player or the mandolin player or whatever however we're our jam session is set up here okay Let's see, so let's go back to the beginning, and I'll just um, go through slowly, and the tab will appear as we go through on your screen. So about a one, two, three, four, one, go. a couple of phrases toward the end will end with a quarter note. So here I'm going uh, one, two, and three, and four, going up to D, one, and two, and three, and four, going back to G, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, two. So together that's one, two, and three, and four, one, and two, and three, and four, one, and two, and three, and four, and one. Okay? So that's one time through slowly. Let's pick it up just a little bit now, and we'll uh, get our accompaniment in here too. About a one, two, three, four, one, go. <laughs> Pick it up a little bit more. Uh, one, two, three, four, one, go. <laughs> faster with this you got to you got to uh, get in between these these positions a lot quicker that's why you need to be sure and, and work it through slowly make make sure you've got everything coordinated properly and then uh, hopefully as you as the song speeds up your movements will speed up along with it Okay. <clears throat> a 
one more time. Thank you.